I, I can say is what I recall about my, my time spent with Sri says, it's usually laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so all I can say is what, the, the most you can wish for your, your brother is, is happiness and laughter. And please join me in wishing John and Teresa happiness and laughter and health. Cheers. Cheers. And the microphone is now on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I do have something else to say. Since uh, no one's stepping up here. There was another change. Um, since, since John was, I think, in college, uh, when he would greet us, you'd go to shake his hand or hug him, and he would give what was called the asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> so last, last year, <laughs> and John, the first part of the house, we were visiting, and John and I went to say goodbye, and I gave him the asterisk, and we and Teresa said, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> so I think, you know, to seal this relationship, what we should have is the first marital ask. Well, marital ask is a bad person. This is a true match made in heaven. Yes. Yes. So let us drink to their happiness forever. Forever. Teresa oh. and Jonathan. Right. I just want to say I agree that the match was made in heaven. And all I can add to that is God bless you both. Thank you. I actually had a thing, a bet going with my, my brother and sister along here that I could start the toast with. I love you guys. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that was that was just the preface. Where's my dollar? <laughs> Uh, I would like to propose a toast to John and Teresa and to the beautiful ceremony today. And uh, what, what, can I go back and can I, first, let's all do one toast to Terry and Jane again for introducing them. Being the beginning of this evening. Uh, I'll pick up where uh, uh, my brother Matthew uh, were a reference that he made in terms of the phone calls that were made, going, <laughs> John seems kind of happy. <laughs> Have you talked to him? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm the one who's all the way out in California, so I, I of course, didn't see them, see him. But I was like, yeah, I hear he's happy. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I can't wait to meet her. And then, you know, we finally got to meet, and I was like, whoa, that's John. 
He always had a mustache. <laughs> I mean, for decades, he had the fireman mustache. Required of New York firemen. And it was gone, and I was like, he's happy, but he doesn't have a mustache. Happy mustache, happy mustache. And then I was like, I don't miss the mustache, because he's happy. <laughs> And then, you know, I, I don't, you guys weren't, didn't get to be as close this, uh, this afternoon as I was to be able to see them. Oh my God. You know, first to see my big brother, you know, six years older than me, there, just so full of emotion and, and you know, almost on the edge of tears. Um, and, and I thought, that's because a dream is coming true. You know, and I was watching this dream come true, and it was so beautiful. And then, uh, and don't take this the wrong way, uh, watching Teresa gaze at John as this, as he was having this dream come true, I, I sort of fell in love with Teresa. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, this is a powerful thing going on. This is amazing. So. Here's to no mustache. Here's to Teresa. And yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, Terry! Jane! Thank you! For those of you who don't know my family, um, we have all taken interesting paths. Um, you know, John took his his time, his time, um, in completing his PhD. Um, and then, you know, David uh, studied political science and then became an actor. I uh, studied political science and ended up being a soccer coach. Um, <laughs> Matthew studied, you know, sciences and uh, became an IBM uh, person and uh, <laughs> uh, um, what is which, and he was pre-med and is now an architect um, so we've all we've all taken our own paths and quite frankly our own sweet time and uh, you know I, I'm always I'm always in, in occasions like this and uh, you know I I'm with my bro my big brother here. I just got married a couple months ago, and um, you know I'm always brought back to one drive that uh, that I took to school one day. We we lived about a mile from school, but I overslept, and my dad was driving me to uh, to school, and uh, he was driving along in the right hand lane, and these cars just kept on speeding by us and we were going, you know, probably 20 miles an hour. And um, it, took, it took us a little while to get to school, but, but you know, we pull up to the, the stoplight and, you know, we've been, we've been burned by dozens of cars. And, and then we look over and there they were and my dad said, you know, Peter, all these cars whiz by us on the road, speeding down the road. I always pull up to them at the next stop. Right? <laughs> and I remember that because I always thought that it was his way of rationalizing how his children were developing. <laughs> but but uh, me at, at 39 getting married all the way to John at uh, 12 years older than 39. Um, <laughs> I think it was absolutely worth the wait, and so I wanted to raise a glass to all of the late bloomers. <laughs> Here's to John and everyone who waited for love. And for any of you who were at the rehearsal dinner last night and had the opportunity to observe myself and my siblings, you know that when we get together, we have a really good time. Um, I think one of the things that I've learned over my many years is the value of family and what my family has come to mean to me. And certainly, uh, bringing John's family into the fold has been wonderful. But most importantly, it's great for me to see my sister so happy and so in love and creating her own sense of family with John. So here's to John and Teresa. But I asked Peter, the minister, for some material on John. And is it OK to? No, I better not. <laughs> but um, I mostly just wanted to say uh, that you know when I 
as long as we've known them, every time we get together, we have a great time. Uh, obviously, they really enjoy each other's company. Uh, when I looked over today and saw just sheer delight in my sister's eyes, John's was more like shock and awe. <laughs> but, but really, that's, that's what marriage is. It's delightful and it's awesome. So, cheers. I've known her for 50 plus years now. <laughs> So I have lots of stories I could tell you. And, oh, dear. And that would be her reaction. The one I will tell you is when we were younger, we used to share the same bedroom. And we had these little twin beds. And we would make bridges across the bed. And one of us would be the bridge, and the other one would crawl across the other. <laughs> and occasionally the bridges would collapse. And we would lay it on the floor laughing, and then we'd do it again, because it was so exciting. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was whatever. I won't go there. Anyway, I see your marriage as a bridge between our families, and you are bringing together all of us to this joyous occasion. And I also see that you two will be the bridge for the other and hold each other up when things happen. So here's to here's to and John. Always been a big top jock. <laughs> All the sports teams um, <coughs> always have a lot of nicknames. They've given a lot of nicknames. <laughs> Deep down, as we all got a glimpse of today, he's a big teddy bear. Teddy bear. <laughs> 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 <Hopping> inside. <laughs> the metaphor I came up with, which he's it's good. He's like a geode. Tough on the inside, but a gem on the Tough on the outside, but a gem on the inside. And, um, and the perfect example of that is um, what's on Teresa's finger? The emerald that he bought in South America decades ago um, when he was on a trip with Western Geophysical. He bought a raw emerald knowing and hoping that one day he would find the perfect woman for him beloved this life and he had my mom keep it for him for years um, and none of us knew about it but my mom um, and last year after we had all been wondering what was going on <laughs> after we all saw this incredible change in John this lightness this happiness that we hadn't really seen before. Um, you heard about the emerald, the rock in a sack <laughs> that we gave <laughs> to Teresa for her birthday. Um, which, coincidentally, I learned tonight from table two <laughs> um, is actually her birthstone.